how do we do that msme segment which is a very large segment especially in india uh, will only go for sustainable when government really takes it uh, and of course we need to balance the cost benefit analysis because we are a very uh, price elastic country our uh, consumers we have seen it in our society chapter has come cotton to for blends of polyester over the last one one and a half years and of course the shift is getting more and more uh, strong uh, as lalitji said cotton's uh, percentage is going to get less and less at this current uh, last year high is definitely going to take cotton more on a put it on a back pedestal and still of course uh, uh, we will still have uh, people uh, preferring cotton uh, of course it become a more elitist product and polyester and blends will go on so i think so we need to uh, the government needs to take the blue buyer has its limitations uh, it will be driven by how the consumer acts and reacts and of course it's going to be very location specific uh, developed countries will be much faster but the under developed or developing countries from a buyer point of view is going to be very very slow so sir i'm just from good right now to better that is the way out and that is uh, the suggestion which is the jmd T Limited has uh, made. He is the past president of CT Litra and PSC, a very uh, renowned thought leader in textiles. Why the next speaker, Dr. Vinay Kumar Chaudhary, chairman, uh, Control Union. Uh, Dr. Vinay Ji, traceability is an increasingly important factor, but the textile value chain is long and complex. How can it be simplified and made less expensive? Nobody is as experienced as you are in the sustainability and the uh, And the organic cotton uh, and textile front, please help us uh, address this issue. Good afternoon, everybody. So it's a very good uh, discussion topic nowadays. So I heard that uh, sustainability is going up, uh, but you know, I have a one comment on the sustainability that uh, what India is going to face the challenge of over commitment. So sustainability, as uh, all the participants told. Uh, There are different definitions, but uh, as per the world definition, which we are going towards the climate change or impact assessment, which is the next future. And these two words is a bunch word. And India itself has a lot of sustainability, so I feel that sustainability should be talked about in real sense. So when you uh, you talk about overcommitting sustainability, then uh, the true price is not given for the work to be done. then uh, there is a fraud in the system which get exposed so india should not over commit on sustainability because the true price is not given uh, for the what sustainable work is given so that uh, is one of the point i want to add uh, very important uh, point i uh, i do agree with you regarding traceability it's a very common buzzword i can say the fascinating word farm to fresh and west to well lot of traceability you know more than 100 traceability beautiful software has come But India should be prepared to talk about sustainable because traceability comes with integrity now. So if traceability is coming, uh, we can talk about various type of traceability. One is blockchain, which is coming on IT platform that you know you give your traceability with information. So India was known uh, from the beginning to write everything from the, our old days to write everything on paper, and uh, we were known for that. And that traceability has much integrity into place. Now, just one question to all of you. Anyone or all of you can address this: that audit fatigue is a real concern. Now we have been faced with uh, with audits all around us, uh, uh, having started an industry from day one. But now this compliance is an audit. They not only come for 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 organic and sustainably, uh, you know, uh, sourcing companies, but also for normal companies because this child labour and. Uh, 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 other thing, compliances are not not only related to sustainable uh, sourcing of uh, fibers or materials. So, how do we address this issue? What you raised, uh, multiple audits. Yes. So, multiplicity is the real fatigue causing factor. Right. So, there is a need for the people requiring this to sit together and see how much they can synchronize. Make it common. Like literally, every brand wants wants its own audit. They cover the same points, but they don't accept each other's certificates or certification, so to say. Right. So uh, now, 
Suresh, by coming to you and the last question, all of you can have a one line or two line say on it. Going forward, what role do you see the ICAC playing in the global textile industry, the International Cotton Advisory Committee? Well, can they do anything better than they do right now to support the cotton consuming or cotton producing countries? I would like to comment. Before I comment on that, yes, I, I would like to comment on the previous speaker. I admire Mr. Sanjay Jain that what he tells about uh, Pati, or his Pati. Uh, even ITMF has also thought in the similar direction now, I remember, that a common certificate is a solution. So we must push this idea of common certificate by combining various duplicated or uh, un unnecessary or repetitive certification, necessary and unnecessary to be earmarked. So this is uh, the appreciation of this body uh, party at current position. And then uh, what Mr. Sivaraj said is also right, that we have to understand the innate position of our own farmers and our own industry which is 80% MSME. So whatever we do, we have to think in terms of our context. So that's why I agree that any system we evolve has also to be India specific so India is slightly somewhat different above a somewhat different scenario than other countries. Now coming to the ICSA role, I personally feel that ICSE was started as a congregation of nations years back and now they are working on limited objectives. The addition to their objective was made by the addition of private sector advisory committee. Now private sector advisory committee has been giving various suggestions and out of that suggestion this CAFE meeting has been held. The CAFE meeting, uh, the present meeting, is an invitation to collect the different views which are floating in, the, in various countries and make it commonly available. So ICSE has definitely uh, been aware that they must expand their role much more than giving mere statistics or giving stock to use ratio. So, uh, the ambit of ICSC needs to be revised so that now traceability, I, I agree with uh, Sanjay Ji that uh, what is the necessity of traceability? Now, traceability necessity stems out of the consumerism which is taking shape in the world. The consumers vie with each other to find out some distinction of some kind and see what I am giving is uh, highly climate friendly, highly sustainable. So sustainable world is survival but it has become a good world making it little confused and uh, in, in, uh, including so many things. So we have to simplify the things so that the progress can be made and that's where I agree uh, that uh, we have to simplify as well according to Mr. Jain said. But the reason they trade is the consumerism or trace. Uh, now finally, ICSC today has excellent uh, paper on technology. Now the technology paper of ICSC remain more on the on the academic and it is not being used. I personally see that am I audible? Suresh Bhai. Ah, you are audible, sir. Absolutely audible. So now, so what we should do is we should expand the role of technology adoption so that the cotton productivity and quality of the cotton improve so as to have substitute through, uh, uh, through the man-made fiber. Today's meeting.
think that here on this platform, we invite through the chat, the textile advisory group, can, can we have, uh, you know, send an invitation to ICAC, can they do something, what they have been, uh, you know, remarkably doing in African countries, can they do that in India? So, this is why um, uh, uh, Dr. Keshav Kranti just shared during the city conference, therefore, yesterday that India about the founder country okay. in ICAC. Uh, the founder country, we are still facing the situation of yield uh, challenge and kind of production challenge right now. Can we have you know, something on the tax platform for ICAC? Think they have given an opportunity to make ICAC to also to help us. I think definitely we will do that. And uh, uh, of course, uh, they, they, the global best practices, whatever we are getting, you know, they can publish. Like, you know, ITMF, they are coming out with the uh, contamination survey. They may probably ICS even on quality print that they can come out with some survey reports uh, on uh, fiber quality, productivity, uh, kind of a thing, uh, more uh, some more technical details that will help each country to you know, benchmark and improve themselves. Now, other than you know, contamination or sea coats uh, or stickiness, uh, we don't have other uh, any other uh, you know the fiber parameters globally. We don't have. And, uh, you know, even when we talk about the fiber quality parameters, uh, uh, you know, we go by only what the mills are saying. And ICAC being a central organization, probably they can come out with uh, some quality uh, report also by getting the data from the different uh, countries so that it will help others also to progress well. So this we one more thing. Dr. 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 they do have a lot of data. They have data of every country. What we need to do is since that, we want, what can we, you know, what can help us yeah, do better. And I think that platform, you know, once it comes, because it's a tag platform, also has to do with history this way. And yes. you know, uh, you know, precipitating that to city, city, area, or city, or, 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 or the local association here in India would be really remarkable. Let them choose a location yeah, right. and then uh, we will choose them. And, uh, by and large, we appreciate uh, you know the excellent services provided by uh, ICSC. Though there is uh, some more thing we may expect, but uh, really the data, the report, uh, you know, it uh, have been very highly reliable and helping the whole industry across the world to grow. So our compliments from Indian textile industry to ICSC, and uh, we highly appreciate the services provided by ICSC. Yeah, uh, very insightful actually, Mike. I thank ICAC for putting up uh, these questions, this set of questions on the ICAC World Cafe because World Cafe is one of the most sought after events. And this very relevant question answered upfront from across the globe will help us make a roadmap out of uh, you know finding sustainable solutions to this issue. It's like e-commerce, yes. Eh, Everyone knows it's here to stay, but how to implement, how do we position ourselves and is only the brand entitled to do it or any other segment of the textile industry can explore and exploit this uh, opportunity. Sustainability, a very subjective word. Sustainability, again, a very subjective word. Would we here stand up and put a price to it? Would it really make any difference to the buyer pay, they pay something extra so that the supplier complies with all the terms of sustainability and traceability because ultimately it's going to come down to the farmer and now we should not get more into documentation rather than forget the whole process and the whole impact that it was entitled to you know get uh, out of all the sustainable and organic cotton that we are doing so that that was addressed today and I, I really appreciate that. Again, audit fatty. Can we have a common audit platform? So important because every company, every association, every country, every continent would like to have a, a, a certification of its own. Is it really possible? We are living in a global world now. E-commerce has no boundaries. So why should certification be such a big issue and such a big cost? Somebody has to pay for it or the people will start finding loopholes which we do not want to happen in, in the long run. And going ahead, yes, role of ICAC. This has been discussed in detail during our discussion, and I hope that uh, something very concrete comes out of it. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Yes, the, the, the challenges faced by SMEs in this new world has been brought up by multiple speakers, so that's going to be an issue that we're surely going to have to put our, our collective minds on. I don't know if any of the table leaders, leaders were able to stay this late 
Um, but if there are anybody, I don't see any other questions. If there, if any of the table leaders are present and want to say anything, please do so now. Otherwise, I think we'll just have to wrap up. We're 